Hi, my name is Stephen Barson. I'm Freddie Beatman. The composers for Star Trek Picard Season 3, and I think the biggest takeaway that we have from it, and the thing that will stay with me a very long time, is... Recognizing and discovering the undeniable love and devotion of all the Star Trek fans out there. We've spent an, an enormous amount of time with musical detail in the score to reference aspects of the franchise, and these dear fans have picked up on almost everything instantly and have thanked us for doing so. And being able to bring an ending to a 36-year television uh, experience is something you don't get to do every day. Truly an amazing experience. Just the, the hugest honor. I think every composer feels overwhelmed at some point in a project. Um, I think if you don't, then th there's probably something wrong. <laughs> um, it's uh, you know, especially when when you're dealing with a franchise that has such such like you know deep ingrained love and strong opinions as Star Trek. Just start. Whether or not you feel ready or you have an idea, just sit down and write music, even if it's bad. You can. Work on it later, revise it later, change it later. But the worst thing is having these anxieties and then nothing done. I think that only amplifies whatever bad feelings you're having about this project. And often, actually, in almost every case, something comes out of me that becomes a very good starting point that then inspires me to go on. With editors, you know, their their their, their feel of timing um, really sets up so much of the the musicality and like how just the simple idea of how fast should a piece of music go often is dictated by how fast the pictures are cut and that because sometimes you're going with that rhythm that they establish and sometimes you're going against it for an equally um, cool effect. The very important mindset that when you are dealing with filmmakers, especially not necessarily music savvy filmmakers, try to reduce the conversations that are music specific and focus everything on story and character and also the audience. If you speak in those terms, any filmmaker will be able to speak to you because that's what they're about too. And the moment you start talking about that rather than specific musical things, should the melody go up, should the melody go down, does it feel too minor? Those type of things. If you start to worry more about how do you want the audience to feel? How do you want the audience to feel when they leave the theater? What is the character feeling at this given moment? If you focus on those questions, you will get much more detailed answers that inform what you do down the, down the line rather than trying to be too specific.